Hello, this is Daniel from Samdance Couch. In this video, I will be looking at the official PlayStation VR 2 PC adapter, running Steam VR on a Windows 10 computer. I'm using the official Sony PC VR 2 drivers and I will tell you all about my experience. So let's go! Before I bought this adapter, I was already able to use my PSVR 2 on my computer because I own a graphics card with a so-called Virtual Link port. It looks like a regular USB-C port, but it's technically different. Together with the official Sony PSVR 2 drivers, I could play without even needing this adapter. I made a video about this as well. Confirmed GPUs that work without an adapter are the NVIDIA RTX 2000 series, AMD RX 6000 series, like the RX 6950 XT Founders card, and the 7000 series. Unfortunately, the Virtual Link port is not included in modern GPUs anymore since a couple of years now, so when you have a modern GPU, that's where Sony's adapter comes in. Getting the official Sony adapter was not an easy task. First of all, there were no pre-orders. And where I live, brick and mortar stores didn't even know about this product, nor when they would be able to sell it. In the end, I was successful ordering it from Sony Direct, and it arrived within three days. This is what the box looks like coming from Sony, with a nifty chain design tape. That makes things secure. The adapter itself is quite smaller than I expected and has the size of about the palm of your hand. The main wire is a USB plug that plugs directly into your PC. It has a power input and a display port on the back. On the front is the USB-C type connector for your VR2 headset. The underside of the adapter has rubber linings, which should help for the adapter not to slide around too much. And this is the power brick for the adapter and its cord. I wish the power could be sourced from the USB connector since I already have endless power bricks flying around. But connecting a whole headset with two screens in it does require a little more juice. What's not in the box and is a requirement is a separate DisplayPort 1.4 cable. I am using my oldie but goldie NVIDIA 2080 Ti in the form of an external GPU that I have connected to my Mac Pro computer running a 3.3 GHz 12-core Intel Xeon processor. As an operating system, I'm using Windows 10 and I also have a USB Asus BT500 Bluetooth adapter hooked up, since my internal Bluetooth doesn't play nice with the VR2 controllers. All I need now is the official Sony PS VR2 app from the Steam Store. And then the Steam VR app. Once you have both downloaded and installed, you can start connecting your controllers to your computer. Then a guide shows you how to hook up your new adapter. First you connect the power cord to the adapter. Then you connect the DisplayPort 1.4 cord to the adapter itself and the other end plugs directly into your graphics card. Then you connect the USB cord to a USB input of your computer. And last but not least, you connect your VR2 headset into the front port of the adapter. That is a lot of wires, and compared to the virtual link solution that I used before, it is quite a lot of wires that are flying around your computer. Once it's all hooked up and your controllers are connected, the drivers on your PC will recognize the headset and you can directly jump into Steam VR. I absolutely enjoy playing Half-Life Alex with my VR2 headset. The graphics are super sharp and the textures are very high resolution. This game looks definitely better than what we have seen so far on a PlayStation 5 system in sharpness and motion clarity, thanks to the higher resolution 
and frame rates you can achieve. Also, the tracking of the controllers is very good. With the attachment for the gun, I can precisely aim and reloading the gun with both hands is very exact and I never miss what I want to do with my virtual hands. I also tried out a little bit of the Google Earth VR app, which is pretty cool. You can either fly around or use Google Street View, which is a full 360 degree view. I was asked if the adapter also works with an USB-C adapter. So I gave it a try with my display port to USB-C adapter. When you hook up your VR2 headset like this, Windows will recognize the headset as a billboard device and uses the headset as a 2D screen. Not really useful, but it does output a picture. Same goes also for Apple Mac computers using this adapter. This is not VR though, so you will need a display port on your computer and not a USB-C port for video output only. Conclusion The official adapter works as intended and I didn't have any issues with it. Some features are missing from what we know and love when using it on a PS5. Like for example HDR, adaptive trigger and headset haptic support and eye tracking. But with more people getting into VR gaming by using VR2 on their PCs, we might see Sony add this in a future driver update. I personally prefer the virtual link hookup method for my setup, since it only uses one wire and doesn't require an extra power brick. But this method is only for older GPUs and unfortunately not an option for modern graphics cards. With the Sony adapter, you can use the latest and greatest GPU there is and enjoy VR in high details and high frame rates. I'm very happy with how easy it is to use your PS5 VR2 headset on a Windows computer. More VR worlds are open now to PS5 owners and PC players can buy a really good headset from Sony now and use it on their favorite system. So if you are into VR, you should give this headset and its adapter a try. But that's it from me today. If you enjoyed this video, please consider liking and subscribing to this channel if you would like to see more of my videos, cool tech reviews and games. It really helps me to make more content for you in the future. Until then, I will see you next time on Sandance Couch.